Sorry guys, the camera just shut off for a moment. I just want to make sure that uh, I didn't lose you in the dust here. I was just doing one more Ronskian calculation with x squared, x cubed, and x squared plus x cubed. These three functions, I have a 3 by 3 Ronskian here, and um, these functions should be LD because the third one is just the sum of the first two, so there is a linear dependency there. And I'm just doing my arrow method up here. You guys can pause this if you need to and check. This is just the arrow method on this 3 by 3 Ronskian. Okay? And the idea is that after you simplify it all out, it really should cancel down to 0. Okay? 3x to the 4th times 2 plus 6x minus 2x to the 4th times 2 plus 6x would just be x to the 4th times 2 plus 6x. And then similarly, we have a 12x squared times x squared plus x cubed and a 6x squared times x squared plus x cubed. So that can be simplified. And then finally, this, these two middle terms here can be also simplified. Minus 4x cubed times 2x plus 3x squared. So I'm hoping that if we multiply this all out, it all cancels. Uh, 2x to the 4th plus 6x to the 5th plus 6x to the 4th, plus 6x to the 5th, minus 8x to the 4th, minus 12x to the 5th. What does that all come out to? The x to the 5th terms cancel, and the x to the 4th terms cancel. They all cancel out and just leave you with 0. So in this case, there is no x naught that I can plug in to my Ronskian that will give me a non-zero value. Well, that's what we expected because these functions are not Li, right? If we could have plugged in a number and gotten a non-zero answer, then the vectors would have been Li, but looking at these functions, we know that that's not true. So, all right, that is about it. I just wanted to introduce the Ronskian to you. Hopefully this uh, makes some good sense. We'll talk more about this uh, in real time when we get back together, but wanted to give you a head start on it uh, now. So hopefully it makes sense. Thanks, guys.